hey guys it's your girl Vanessa here welcome back to another video today's video is the second part of a two-part video in which I shared with you how I was able to grow my hair over an inch in about six weeks time so if you haven't seen that video guys I'm going to link it somewhere up here for you guys and also in my description box so do feel free to check that out if you haven't seen it just so you can have a better understanding of what I've done and basically how I was able to achieve this result and I do hope that you do go ahead and try this out and that you when you do you do get the same benefits now hair grows on average about 0.5 inch every month now and this varies depending on the individual I did find that my hair had reached a plateau so it wasn't really growing past the length that you guys saw initially and I wanted to just challenge myself just to see basically if my hair was able to grow past that length now it wasn't to, it's not to say that I wasn't happy with my length because I was I'm definitely happy and my hair was quite nice and healthy but I just really wanted to just challenge myself just to see if I was able to grow my hair past that length so just like you saw earlier that was my hair six weeks before I started this and this is what my hair looks like now six weeks later we can certainly see that it has had a significant amount of growth now in this video I will be sharing and review this growth oil that I have been using this oil is absolutely amazing at stimulating your scalp and promoting faster high growth so definitely keep on watching now before we dive into it guys be sure to give this video a thumbs up give me a comment also just let me know whether it's something like that you're going to try or whether you've tried before and if you did what was your experience so let's hop right into the video the first ingredient we're going to need for this recipe would be some rosemary now rosemary has been found to increase the growth of new hair by about 22 percent when massaged onto the scalp it works by stimulating the scalp circulation and can be used to grow longer hair prevent baldness and stimulate new hair growth in balding areas so i added about a tablespoon of that now i'm going to go in with some thyme now thyme can actually help promote hair growth as well by stimulating the scalp and actively preventing hair loss now thyme oil was also found to be helpful in treating alopecia which is absolutely amazing like who knew that um yeah really good if you've got alopecia or thin areas on your scalp or areas that the head just doesn't seem to grow definitely worth adding time to your regimen so i added a tablespoon of that now i'm just pouring over it just some olive oil but feel free to use any other oil guys it could be um coconut oil avocado oil or any oil, oil that you normally use that you know can withstand heat okay so i added i don't know exactly the quantity here but feel free to add as more as much as you need uh, i just stir that in and then i'm going to place it um in a in a pan just so i can do the double boiler method now this i left on there for about 15 to 20 minutes but again feel free to leave it a bit uh, for lesser time if you want to um, always remember to stir as you are leaving it in there just don't leave it and just go so stir in between okay guys so once you're done with that just take it off the fire and just allow it to sit around for a little bit just so it can cool down and have like a normal room temperature and then i'm going to transfer this to a jar this is just an old jar that i have in my house i think that was honey it was honey that was in it and it ran out and i just decided to just wash the jar and use it uh obviously make sure that it's nice and dry so i just transferred that in there and then I'm going to go in next and add in my essential oil. Now the only essential oil that I will be using for this will be some rosemary essential oil. But again, feel free to use any other essential oil of your choice, guys. Um, but I love to use rosemary essential oil because of its amazing benefits. Now I'm going to go in with some black castor oil. Now castor oil is also really good for our hair because it contains something called ricinoloic acid and omega-6 fatty acids which is certain which are certainly known to help improve the blood circulation to the scalp which improves hair growth so i think i was just about to run out of this to be honest i just had a little bit left inside because i've used it so much um but yeah feel free to add as much as you as you can guys because it's really good um so stir that in um, until everything is nice and combined and this is basically what it looks like so i'm going to close this jar really 
tightly just to make sure it's properly airtight and then I'm gonna let it sit somewhere in my house for about three weeks now it's not really necessary guys if you want to use it straight away after doing the double boiler method that's absolutely fine the reason why I left mine to sit around for another three weeks was just so that it can infuse a bit more and I can get a bit more of the benefits so after it sat around my house somewhere that was a bit nice and warm um, for that length of time I then took it off and I'm gonna strain it obviously it's just so I can use it um, so I'm using a regular recap here but feel free to use anything that you've got it could be a stocking cap or anything that you have usually to strain your DIYs okay guys so this is what it looks like after it has uh, infused for more than for about three weeks after doing the double boiler method now you can see that the olive oil hasn't really changed that much color um, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's still it's not full of nutrients because it clearly is now I forgot to say also if you've got fresh thyme fresh uh, rosemary leaves that's even better but I didn't have that so I had to work with what I had um, so essentially this is it it's pretty much nice and ready I just transferred it into that same jar and I'm ready to just go ahead and use it so I'm now going to show you basically how I'm applying this to my hair it's pretty nice and simple guys uh, you would apply it just like you apply any regular hair of oil um, so my hair at the moment is washed um a bit dry because i haven't i mean it's been at this point two weeks since i washed my hair and it's also very tangled at the bottom um because to be honest i haven't been detangling my hair properly for the past maybe three months honestly um i think every time i get around to detangling i do a bit of finger detangling here and there and i just leave it so my hair is actually properly tangled i think i have a video coming up about how i detangle my hair and it will be very interesting to see how much you know shed hair um i have after i actually properly sit down and do it proper like proper detangling um so i think i'm going to record it so definitely um stay tuned for that so i'm just taking the oil making sure that i'm applying that to my scalp you know um every bit of my scalp pretty much you know including my edges um and just yeah everywhere and i'm gonna go ahead and then massage it now scalp massages guys when i tell you scalp massages are the bomb like trust me they are the bomb like you need to do it you need to do scalp massages if you're not doing that already it is absolutely amazing at stimulating um high growth because it increases the blood flow to your scalp and it just nourishes your follicles with all the goodness that you're putting on your scalp and also the good food that you're eating um so really really good i think what i used to do um previously was massage my scalp for about six minutes because i just love to do it i just love the feel of it um also but if you don't have time, I think it's, it's still okay to massage your scalp for about two minutes. So normally I would go ahead and massage it for about five to six minutes and then wrap my hair up just like I would normally and just carry on with my day as I would normally. Um, so yeah, definitely consider doing scalp massages. And if you are to replicate, you know, uh, this regimen that I've shared with you, I suggest that you do it the same way. So you can also hopefully rip the same results. Um, so yeah, you can see here, I'm kind of being very gentle, uh, massaging my edges here. Uh, don't use your nails because you don't want to irritate your scalp, but rather use the tip of your fingers because it's a, a little bit gen uh, more gentle. Now you can also use the scalp massaging brush if you've got one. Um, but I, d I don't have one so I'm just using my fingers and it has been working absolutely fine uh, really so do take your time give yourself that little treat and just get in there with your fingers and massage your scalp really nicely um, so normally I would do this twice a week um, I know some people are quite busy and to be honest they haven't got time to be in their hair and trust me I don't also um, but twice a week is quite a good time 
um, to um, apply this oil and also massage your scalp and the other thing that you can do and also I've done this you know here and there uh, within those six weeks was also spraying my scalp at night time with a nice DIY tea um, that I've shared with you before guys so just spray your scalp with that it could just be aloe vera juice it could just be green tea um, anything really or fenugreek tea anything that you know I've shared with you in the past that's certainly known to help you know promote healthy high growth so spray that on your scalp overnight and then go in with this oil massage that in and then just go to sleep as you would normally just like i said before guys always remember that you also need to have a clean scalp you don't want to have a scalp that's just full of product because that's not going to help so every three weeks you need to wash your hair or four weeks maximum um, just so you have a clean healthy scalp so this is pretty much it for me today i do hope that you've enjoyed watching the video and gained something from it give me a thumbs up if you like the video comment down below what you think let me know if you're going to try this and i'll catch you next time bye